Hi there, it's Jason Blackman here. Welcome to another Tax Filer video. It's Tuesday and it's time again. <laughs> so every Tuesday I upload a video to my YouTube channel giving you hints, tips and tricks centred around Tax Filer. Now if you'd like to uh, find out more details about my full limited company Tax Filer course then please click on the link in the description. Um, but in the meantime what I'm going to do today is just do a quick video as I say, each week's just a little quick video about uh, one sort of tip or trick around tax filer. And this week, a question I often used to get asked, I worked in tax filer support for many years, is how do we transfer the accounts to a uh, corporation tax return when the accounts are still in draft? And it's, as I say, a question I often get asked. So I'm on my limited company account screen now and you'll see the status of the accounts is in draft. And if I look at the check and file screen, there's actually no option at the moment to transfer my accounts to a CT600. Now you might say, well, why would you need to do that? You need to wait till the accounts are finalized before you transfer the accounts to a CT600. Now that may be true, but it's also good to sort of prepare a draft CT600. In particular, because you'll need to sort of find out a draft corporation tax figure for the client. So you are going to need to do it. So there is a little trick, a little way around it. So if I go back to the contents tab and I actually change the status from draft to approved, just for the moment, even though the accounts aren't approved at the moment, I'm just gonna click on that and change that to approved just for the moment, save changes and back to check and file. And you see, once you've done that, you can now attach the accounts to a corporation tax return. So it says the accounts have not yet been attached to a company tax return. So if I click on attach here, and uh, as it happens, this particular one, I've done this several times. So uh, if you have done the corporation tax return before, it will ask you to confirm overwrite. So, um, but if it's your first time doing it, it won't ask you to do that. So I will, uh, will say yes to that for the moment. This is what will normally happen. You'll get the green button that says update amounts to tax return. So if I click on that, and we're in the tax return screen now. We won't worry too much about the detail at the moment. We'll just save changes. So now you actually have a draft CT600. So you can look at the computation. You can say to the client, okay, um, we've got the corporation tax bill here as it happens. There's no corporation tax bill for this one because we're in a, a, a loss situation, but you would normally have the profits chargeable to corporation tax and the actual corporation tax bill there. So you could give that to the client. So but the CT600 is very much in draft at the moment. So what we can do then is if we can go back to the account, so I'll just go back to the account screen. And uh, what we can do now is uh, go back to the contents tab and we can change that back now to draft. We can change that back to draft, save the changes. And if we now go back to check and file, we'll see we're back to the situation where we were before. Um, where we can change the date of the uh, approval of the accounts. So it's a little bit fiddly, but uh, it's a good way to uh, find out what the corporation tax liability is, have a look at the return before we submit and before we approve the final accounts in tax filer. So hope that's helped and I will see you again next week. In the meantime, if you'd like more details about my limited company course, please click on the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's it for this week. So I'll see you all again soon.